And hello, welcome back to Baldur's Gate 3, playing our paladin, our Oathbreaker. Uh, and I'm just going to say for warning, apologise if I sound a little bit different or seem a little bit off. I'm not feeling the best. Uh, good thing it's not COVID, so I will be right as rain as soon as possible. But yeah, we're back. And um, one of the greatest things as well is uh, I had to redo all of the intro that you saw in the last video because... There's been an update to the mod. This is really interesting, really cool actually. Uh, the mod uh, model for DJMR has actually added in two new subclasses. So instead of Oath of Devotion and Oathbreaker, you now have the Oath of Vengeance and Oath of the Ancients. And also I believe, I'm not entirely sure if this is true, but I believe he's changed it to subclasses so you get it at level 2. But I think that was like that already. But my brain's completely gone to shot. So, yeah. But... Well, without further ado, let's get into it. We are on the beach where we last uh, left off. The only difference between this version of my character and the other version is I did not get lucky with the drops. So I do not have the heavy crossbow and I do not have as many potions of speed as I had originally. Which is fine. It means uh, we'll have to play a little bit differently. Less aggressively, I guess. Less range combat. But that doesn't matter because it means we can show off more of the paladin abilities. And to be honest, uh, with the update of the mod, I may change it from an Oathbreaker to something different. We'll find out. We'll, we'll see. We'll have a look at what the uh, the subclasses do and what they look like. I know that the Oath, I think it's the Oath of the Ancients, I think that one allows you to use cantrips. Or at least cleric, the cleric cantrips, but it uses your charisma instead of wisdom. I that one's what I said experience it for. Do I go with the cleric show or not? I think this is beyond most. Uh, well, yeah, sure. I'll, I'll take you. I think what we're going to do for this uh, playthrough. I'm a black guard, and I am I evil? I'm helping the tieflings, huh? Um, I think I take Gale. Because Gale, Wizard's powerful, especially the mod I've got for Gale. Really fun. Um, I want to take Shadowheart. I'm going to fight it, so I don't need Lysa. I want to take Will. Oh, actually, no, to be fair, my poisons poisons help Astarian quite a lot. So I think Astar Astarian would be a fantastic shout. Unkill, let's make haste. Oh, nope, I did not level up. I'm 11 experience from leveling up. Damn it. Oh, I better give her some abilities. Doop, 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 doop. We are going to go for Bless. That one, that one, that one. Is that everything? Yeah, that's everything. And I don't have any spells, which is fine. More of those wretched things. Quickly, attack. Top sword. Drow poison. Oh. oh. Better stay back. Oh, one dead already. And there's my level up. Nice. And Shadowheart's gonna come along and she's going to slam this brain squid into oblivion. Oh shit, okay. I didn't need to do that. But brain squid dead. Oh, here we go, let's have a look at the class passives. Uh, not class passes. Uh, oh, blessed war. That's new. You. Oh, ooh, that is new. You learn two cantrips: guidance and sacred flame, from the cleric spell list. It count as paladin spells for you. So does that mean they use spell slots? Um, yeah, interesting. And you increase is your spell casting ability for them. Interesting. I believe I said I was going to get great weapon fighting. Um, but yeah. Okay, so Oath of the Ancients might be slightly different. Oath of the Ancients is an old is as old as the race of elves and the rituals of druids. Sometimes called Fey Knights, Green Knights, or Horns Knights. Paladins who swear this oath cast their lot with the side of light in the cosmic struggle against darkness because they love the beautiful and life giving things of the world. Not necessarily because they believe in the principles of honour, courage, and justice. They adorn their armour with clothing with and clothing with images of growing things, leaves, antlers, or flowers, to reflect their commitment 
to preserving life in the ancient world. Interesting stuff. So, did they get anything interesting or different to everything else? Because right now it seems like... Yeah. Oath of Vengeance is a solemn commitment to punish those who have committed a grievous sin. When evil forces slaughter helpless villagers, when an entire people turn against the will of the gods, when a thieves' guild grows too violent and powerful, when a dragon rampages through the countryside, at times, like these, paladins arise to swear an oath of vengeance, to set right that which has gone wrong. To these, pal to these paladins, sometimes called avengers or dark knights, their own purity is not as important as delivering justice. That's interesting. Oath of Vengeance is pretty cool. Do they get anything different? Okay, so you don't. I don't think you get anything different at level two. Is only when you grow and get to like level three. This is interesting. I do want to do a build for both of the agents. I like the idea of the Green Knights. I actually played a D and D campaign. Um, who was a Druid Paladin, which was fantastically fun. Uh, probably my favorite, one of my favorite characters ever, other than my Hex Hexaden. I did. Yes, I'm edgy. Emo for win. But we did say we we're going to go for Oathbreaker. So, sure. We're going to go for the Oathbreaker. Oh, yes, I forget. I have to pick this. Uh, protection? No. Nope. Great weapon fight. This, I don't think that's. This is that good. I really don't think that is that great, in all honesty. When you roll a 1 or a 2 on a damage die, it doesn't affect attack. So, I am tempted by this blessed warrior thing. But it doesn't really fit the theme of an Oathbreaker, to be honest. Uh, we, you know what, we'll go for great weapon fighting, because we are going to be using great weapons. Um, mainly the Sword of Justice. Because we're going cliche as crap. Right. Uh, let's choose our spells. So, we're going for all the smites. So anything that's relatively evil, compelled jewel. That you know what? Screw it. We'll go for compelled jewel. Um, we haven't really used it that much. Uh, Wrathful smite is probably going to be our main one that we choose. Let me just activate divine smite so that we can use it. Uh, gold. If anyone's ever watched Austin Powers Gold member? Gold. I love the my pee pee use a key. What? What? My brain's gone a bit. Fucking math there, to be honest. Right, gold. Let's just quickly loot and then we'll move on. We've got one last squid brain to kill. And off we march. Let's kill this brain bug. Intellect of battle. It's got 9 out of 15 health. Right. Oh, no, no, no. Dude, that was close. Uh, do a little hop, skip, jump. Bash. I just want to use it for this, just, just the hell of it. It's such a cool ability. It really is. Adds an extra 2d8. Yeah, it does. That's so cool. I love the Vine Smite. It's so cool. More stoof. I was actually trying to get a the Battle Master uh, armor mod to work because I think that armor would look pretty decent on a Paladin. Probably not on me. I, I really wish there was like a dark plate armor in this like version of the build off. There's a mod. Any mod authors who decide for some reason to click on this video and watch this series, um. May I request a nice black plate armor? That looks like a black card. Yes, I think I and many other people would love that. And I would definitely endorse. And love you forever. And throw anything you want at you. That sounds vaguely sexual for some reason. Uh, oh, what's this? So, yeah, I've updated a lot of mods now. Oh, half plate. Uh, I've updated these mods, so now you can get Flaming Fist Light Armor, you can get the Half Plate. So it's just okay. So they're just the same, just 
added extra in, I'm assuming. They're all the same. But they've just got extra stuff. Okay. Uh, right. Well, Lysel. No, that's not Lysel, that's Shadowheart. We'll take that for a star in. And take that for a star in as well, because he can use swords. And we'll take this for our resident um, Shadowheart. That's the one. I was going to say resident cleric, but brain stopped working. Okie dokie. And then I'm going to equip that. Oh, that actually looks really cool with the horns. But we're going to be taking the helmet off because I don't like helmets. And that looks absolutely horrific on Shadow. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. Oh, potions. Yes. That goes to me. Then might as well give me them as well. Uh, right, that's for Starion. Drop, drop, drop. Uh, keep that, because that can be worth a little bit of money. That can be worth a bit of money as well. And that's worth a bit of money. Okey dokey. Right now, we are just literally looking like we're Flaming Fist um, imposters. There is an imposter among us. Lockpick. Right, I'm just going to be very British here and, and take a sip of my tea because my throat is killing me. <sighs> Illness for the fun. I don't know why I said for the fun. I just meant to say for the win. Again, my brain is gone to pot. Pot. And now apparently I'm repeating the same words for comedic effects when it's not even funny. Yep. Someone help me. Send help. Blink twice if you're in trouble. I mean, you can't see me, but I'm blinking. <laughs> uh, I have literally just lost, lost the will to live. Oh. More potions of speed. Read. Uh, read and take. Good. We don't need the boots because we don't need them. Pretty much good enough reason as any, I guess. I'll tell you what I did actually do last night when I was uh, feeling sorry for myself because I'm ill. Um, I watched the... Oh, what was it? I watched Senna. That was a fantastic film. Oh, documentary, I guess. Ah, brilliant. Um, in the grass, it was really sad, to be honest. Like you killed the others. I mean, I I really like I Ayrton and Senna. I'm a quite a big fan of the old uh, Formula One. Just don't really watch it much anymore. I haven't really watched it since Lewis Hamilton won his first Grand uh, World Championship. I'm done anything to you. Yet. You, your mind. You try to. Honestly, I have no idea. To... To think. Apology accepted. I, I might have been the same if the roles reversed. My name's Astarian. Not. The stro Please tell me you at least. Yes, unfortunately, that sounds like my place. Although. It hasn't happened yet. You know. And you. All right. I accept. I, I really can't wait for DJ to actually add in the Paladin power. Oh, what's that? Cunning action. Dash, hide, and disengage as a bonus action. That's sick. That's part of the rogues extra mod. That's really good. That's really good. Oh, yeah, that's speaking of which. Um, when he gets to level 3, he gets to choose a subclass. That's going to be awesome for a Starion. I really... I wonder what... I'm going to go for with him. Uh, I'll put that there. The illusiony thingy, which I never use, uh, will might as well go there. Actually, no. I'm gonna put it there, and then that'll be his offhand. 
that's getting kitted out. Starion, put that on. So you have some, you know, clothing. And we'll give you a longsword just because we can. And we'll equip you with a leather helmet. And make sure to hide that leather helmet because it is ugly. Oh, look how good he looks in that new light leather flaming fist. We literally just look like a ragtag bunch of just flaming fist mercenaries. I swear the flaming fist were used were like the, the guard, Baldur's Gate. Why are they mercenaries now? That's interesting. Were they mercenaries in the first place during Baldur's Gate 1 and 2? I thought they were just like the city guard. Um, well, let's kill all these guys. Because I'm evil. Ooh. Draw your weapon. Watch out! He's here to, to kill her. Oh, I rolled the shit end of the stick when it comes to uh, uh, initiative. And I can't hit for shit. Nice. Nice. One damage. A whole round beautiful one, one damage. Beautiful. Right, don't move. Just my turn. Yes, there we go. Alright, let's cleave your brains. Oh, uh, critical. Okay. Well, let's just smite. Bash. I'm just gonna, you know, Sudden sleep in a bit anyway. You are one with your earth. The creature in its voice shivers across your brain. Seek your brain screams in a Who? Asterisk, killed of Mind Flare. I'm gonna kill him anyway. Oh, God. Fail! I happened to my friend. But we wrecked our boat just trying to get close. Could be to worse, him. your shit in the corner. Start by handing over your valuables. Oh, I was hoping this would be me, like speaking, not freaking Astarian. That's annoying. I actually surprised he hit that. I don't normally have luck when it comes to hitting with anything less than 90. Not even, even then, I don't have much luck when I'm hitting for above 90%. I have 91% and I still miss two times in a row. Ah, damn it. I had crossbow. That's not what I wanted. And... Yep. Yeah. Get rid of Bane. I only... So, I went... The way I tend to play uh, clerics is I tend to only have one concentration out of all of my prepared spells because there's no point in having any more than one. Um, I never even re ever really use Bless or Bane, to be honest. No idea why, but I just rarely ever use it. Probably because concentration, like, oh, it, it seems to last like one round, doesn't really do much, and then I get hit and I just, yeah, fail the constitution roll. Um, yeah, I'm just really unlucky when it comes to that. I tend to like do things that Don't tend to have more of an impact Worth during the round. Supplies, Ooh, equip that. Oh, simple rope. That is part of a um, Gales mod. Basically, it adds Gales tomes or book of knowledge, whatever it's called. But it's really cool. Some of the spells in there are sick. Like you could summon a three zombies. That's so much fun. Last I saw you, you were lying in a crucible's worth of blood. And into glad to see my eyes deceive me. Well met. Were okay. you on the ship as well, I presume? Very same. Yes. Not you're staring at me like a rush. Uh, no, I'm no wizard. I take it you recall the insertion. Yes, I recall it vividly. I assume you're no accomplished healer, either. Well, I'm a paladin. Gather as much. You and I well, basically weak to sheep. On the quest for a healer to get. That sounds like a plan, let's go. A woman with Bush. Indeed. We'll see. So, because I want to show you the full extent of my power, Anakin moment right there, um, I want to come back to the place, uh, the, I don't actually need that, because he's going to be using the Staff of Sickness, and the uh, Crone Staff, whatever it's called, um, yeah, we're going to be coming back to the church when I'm level 3, or kill all the people outside. Uh, Greece. That's probably more useful than mage armor. 
But yeah, we'll, we'll kill all the people on the outside. We're going to try and get as much experience as possible. How much experience to level 3? Uh, 461. Okay. We can get 100 from speaking to Lysel. No, you don't. No, you don't. I wish. But, yeah. I've also got something interesting to announce for the channel. So... I'm in the process of currently recording a new Baldur's Gate Enhanced Edition and Baldur's Gate 2 uh, Let's Play. Uh, basically, I didn't finish the last one by doing Baldur's Gate 2 because my old uh, computer that I was recording on broke. Um, however, I'm now doing it again, but as a different class. A uh, class I've never played before. I'm doing a Fighter Illusionist. So I'm hoping that's going to be a bit fun. Say please. Never. But yeah, uh, we're going to be doing that. And uh, the reason I say it's going to be coming out, and, and obviously I will be doing Baldur's Gate 2, is in the case... Of, well, it's because I've actually started recording it already. And also... Why is that not Let me hit it? So yeah, I've already started recording it. And all I gotta do is voiceover. Uh, I'm doing it the same style as I did in the last time. So I'm not doing it live, which is you know probably is just twice the amount of work, but at least it will probably be better uh, in terms of viewability. I guess I don't know. I have no idea what I'm on about to be honest. All I know is it's just gonna be good fun. You would such tiring media. Very the horned oppression. I will be at your camp. Oh, yeah, so, so it's 70 XP, not 100. Eh. Right. Let us sneak. Uh, let's have everyone sneak. Actually, you know what? I think Starring should go in. Because he is the backstabby master. And Gail can stand there. And let's attack! Yay! Let's uh, attack again! And let's shove him off the building. Boop. Oh, starring you suck. Oh wow, they're all surprised. So it's my turn now to shove. Oh. Starin, you have, you have a second chance to redeem yourself. There we go. And now, attack this little coiled rope. Insta dead. <laughs> I've played this game way too many times. I, I swear, I, I think I've got like a good... I actually don't know how many hours I've got in this game. I just know I've got a lot of hours in this game. Oh, it's almost as if I have no life. Uh, right, you are going to help. I'm going to help Gale. And Gale, you are going... Let's see, Book of Spells and Trinkets. This is all of the spells that you get from... Like, that Gale can use. It's, they are so good. Um, I do recommend, though, uh, putting the spell book over, like, on the far end of here. Just because you can then see which spell slots it uses up. <laughs> Ow, that hurts. Why is this can? Does he not have cantrips? Ow. Um, I keep having spasms in my chest. Don't know why. Oh, wow. Gale does not have his cantrips. That is odd. That is very odd. Normally he has Firebolt and Rare Frost. Now he only has spells. I mean, to be fair, probably outweighs the fact that, you know, it outweighs the overpoweredness, I, I guess. Um, sure. Oh, I, I don't know if... Oh, there you go. That's, that's insane. That's so much fun. That is a brilliant spell. We'll use that at some point. I, I've never used this, but I've always wanted to. That's really good. 
Um, Funhouse is fantastic. It's OP as hell, in my opinion. That just spawns in the same belt and robe. Uh, Acid Rain is really powerful. Really, really good. Um, we are going to be using one device ball. And you miss. Ah, that was handy. Thanks, Gail. I was, you know, meant to be doing a showcase on your amazing... Amazingness. And you sucked. Can I just have you come over and just murder her? Please. Uh, well, you don't have your cone trips either. Where's Sacred Flame? Oh. Oh, hang on a second. She got Thaumaturgy. She's never started with that. What? And she's also got Minor Illusion. Oh, did, did she always start? Well, I can't remember if she started with that or not. Where the hell has Sacred Flame gone? Does the, has the Paladin mod changed it to Paladin? So, no, because no. It hasn't. Oh, you know what? I don't care. There we go. This is weird. Changes, the game has changed. The rules have changed. Uh, no. What was it? What was the quote? The rules of engagement has <laughs> changed. I don't know. Uh, what is with everyone dropping these bloody armors? I mean, fur armor's great and everything, but I'm not playing a bloody druid. Maybe next time. I really can't wait for Motley Classen to come out because I really want to make a, like a green druid paladin class. That's going to be so much fun. I don't know why. I really do like Paladin glasses, but at the same time, like, I really need to play other things. Right, so we've killed everyone on the outside. I was actually just about to go in, but I did. Should I kill everyone? Um. Should I kill everyone? I should have cast Formaturgy, to be honest. I'll kill everyone inside, but I won't go any further in. I did say I was going to be using the Hellbird, and I'm not. Um, no, I think you find you're dead. Even Gale can hit you. You suck. Nice. Point blank arrow to the face. That is going to hurt in the morning. I took your key. I took your key. Don't even know what that key does. In all fairness. No more prayers. I keep pressing tab because I've been playing Boulder, the original Boulder's Gate game. Who are those prayers for? And in this game it's Bolt. The highlight stuff. Not here. It is the place of Yurgle. Yurgle is what made Bane and Baal and uh, what was the other one? It wasn't Cyric. It was oh, what was it? It was Bane, Baal, and, and what was the other one? Cyric's always been around. Uh, I've actually forgotten what the other one was. That's really annoying. That's going to really annoy me. Oh, I just remember as well. I can't flame the fucking barrel. Okay. Uh, Astarian time. You are going to do some damage. Do, 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 do. Right, Gail can open that. Oh, actually. Okay, apparently doesn't like swapping my characters around. Why? You're all stealthed, you muppets. Oh, okay. This apparently Starion wasn't actually stealthed. Never mind. Well, screw it. Kaboom. Yeah, no, yeah. And then... You're going to come in, you're going to summon, oh, not summon, you're going to, oh, infestations. Let's see if it works. Infested. I was expecting some, you know, something more. 
but apparently not. Never mind. I'm just going to stroll on over here. Um, and attack you. Okay. Uh, and then, Shadow Heart, you throw a big light ball at her. She, she be dead. Uh, can I attack? No, I cannot. Knut. Oh, she's taken damage. Okay, so that's what it does. So it's like a damage over time, or damage per round sort of effect. Interesting. Okay, so I guess it does something, and that's, that's cool. Oh, she just exploded. What did she explode into? You just explode into a bunch of spiders? That would be... That's cool. That obviously must infest other people when she dies then. Okay, so maybe it's infestation. I shouldn't really read what the spells do, actually, to be honest. Oh, we've got more basic poisons. Yes, I can turn them into my... Uh, my magical poisons of necrotic damage. Speaking of which, should I do that now? I might as well. Uh, have I? Yeah, I still got it. Combine. And then I can add that onto there. So I just have this infinite supply of poisons, which is brilliant. Um, I've still got more. Okay, cool. You know what, I'm gonna give them I'm gonna give these over to a Starion. And the good thing about these is they don't wear off after like a certain amount of hits like the normal poison stuff does. These last a full on flat minute. Which is roughly ten rounds, I believe. Uh six seconds around, I think. But yeah, it's good. Um yeah, we're just gonna level up a little bit um what level am i i need 200 xp so i, I really want to use the black guards abilities to its full effect so i keep saying black guard oath breaker hmm. not black guard what's that hmm. right we've opened it we're gonna leave because um as far as i'm aware the only undead that is actually in this game like the only undead oh actually no i'll tell her there is still you get the dwayagar uh, undead when they get risen um but I, I don't know yeah. but yeah I, I wanna sort of show how the new control undead works as far as I'm aware it you don't actually control the undead it's sort of like it switches their factions over so they fight alongside you which is pretty cool actually because you know um I can I can put, basically, like, my idea is I could put a bunch of scrolls onto the corpse of one of the dead skeletons. And then raise it, or control it when it's against me. And then uh, it will cast those spells. So it's just something interesting to keep in mind in the future. Right, let's go and drop a nuke on some goblins. I say that. Not metaphorically, I literally mean we're going to drop a nuke on some goblins. Because Gale's spells are nutty. Absolutely nuts. He has a level 3 spell literally called Nuclear Explosion. It's crazy. He just has to get a really high dex roll, um, so let's hope he does. We should check it out, but be careful. Uh, yeah, let's, before I do that, let's get the fast travel point unlocked. It's got quite a lot of things to do this uh, in this episode. Uh, one of which is to get to level 3 and then showcase some of the Blackguard skills and abilities. Uh, let's quick save. Uh, short rest will not replenish any of our uh, ability slots. And Gale's out of third level, so yeah. 
I want to showcase the nuclear explosion, which is cool. Here we go, all of us marching in our amazing outfits. Huh. I do I do really like this armor. A monster forms in I knew be quick about your rest. We must uh, crash a crash. of yours. Is you, it our only I do not take your should a single tent Should a single tentacle emerge from my skull? It will be hentai. What were you two talking about? What do you, you mean? Uh, discussing next steps. I, I'd be careful with laser Don't trust Lizelle. Let's hope we wrap I agree, that's fine, Sheila. Let's not trust scary yellow lady. Go to hell. Yeah, good evening Can to you two. Go to hell. I've seen it. Devil. What I did. Now we have. That's the spirit. That and let's go to bed. Normally we'll just speak to Astarian there, uh, but. Eh, I can't be asked. I just want to drop some nukes on some little gobbos. Kind of almost sadistic, just wanting to drop nuclear bombs on goblins. But it is what it is. Right. Let's switch to Gale. Let's really, really hope he gets a good uh, initiative roll. Oh, and if we get to level 3 as well, Starring can choose his subclass. We get to play around with that. I've got a feeling that um, the psionic... I really want to go Arcane Trickster purely for Shadow Blade. But, at the same time... I'd be cool to go with Psionic style again. I say again, I've tested the Psionics before. But Arcane Trickster, you'll get an access to a new ability called Shadow Blade. Uh, it's basically like a flaming uh, sword immersed in darkness. And it does like extra psychic damage, I believe. The way I see it is the, it's kind of similar to what like I would imagine Black Razor to be, just instead of doing fire damage, it would it does psych, psychic damage or psionic damage, whatever it is. Uh, Gale did not get a good uh, deck. Oh, actually no, he didn't get too bad. He didn't get too bad. Okay, nope. You know what? That's not bad. Uh, right. Let's bane. Uh, no, bless. Let's bless everyone. Yeah. We're all blessed. Blessed be our name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done. Right. Ah, here we go. Let's test out the book of nuclear arcana. Now, be ready. Oh, okay. We're going to friendly fire. He's probably dead. Oh, well. Let's go. Yeah, boy. See, that's three dead. And that's on one HP, and that's on ten. That's nuts. OP spell. Bath is just about hanging in. But he's about to get some extra health, so... There we go. Rallied. Inspiring leader is basically what that book does. That's actually quite an interesting feat, though. Inspiring leader. You can use it once per short rest and long rest. And, uh, yeah, it's actually quite an interesting idea, uh, or interesting feat to go for. Uh, let's use Magic Drought Poison. And you are going to attack that. And miss, because the starring sucks. You've got Bless on as well, my dude. You still miss. Holy damn. I mean, to be fair, Gale's one turn, he pretty much wiped out half of the uh, the opposing forces. Oh, come on, Zevlor. I wonder what would happen, actually, if Zevlor died here. Like, what would actually happen if Zevlor died? Okay, we're going to use this. Thunderous Smite. Right, and target's too far... You son of a peach. Can someone help me? Um, I've just wasted my thunderous smite. That's sad. And I rolled the shocking, shockingest. Probably rolled on one, to be honest, on initiative. So I'm that suck, sucky with luck. Right. 
uh, shadow smarts. Uh, just do your thing and throw a big ball of light. It's all you're good for, honey. Gale's turn, right. What else can we pluck out your ass? Um, acid rain. Nope, that's friendly fire again. Bath is just not going to have a fun time at all. Oh, let's use Funhouse. I don't know why, I just want to use it. Look how many mirror images there are. That's so much fun. It's so good. Oh, hang on a second. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, that's not fun. Okay. It also affects enemies. So I've just given that random gobbo uh, three. Oh. Oh, okay. I've just given him some, just a random mirror images. Okay, damn. That's actually, that's actually quite cool. So everyone in the radius gets Im mirror, mirror images. That's interesting. Again, I should probably read stuff before I use it. But I'm just showcasing some amazing stuff during this playthrough. Just some of these hidden gems on the mod next. Uh, to be fair, Baldur's Gate 3 is some absolutely banging mods. Some, like, so, like, really good mods. Really cool mods. Uh, let's pray to Jeebus I hit this guy. There we go, I hit it. And sent him flying. Inside, all of you, more may follow. Open the gate! Open the gate! I love Zevlor. He looks so cool. Time for the loot fest. I love how there's just a big perfect circle of just death. Can I please loot corpse? No, there's nothing on it anyway. You, oh, you're, you're just a tracker. What the hell is that? Rotten chicken eggs. Ugh, that's disgusting. Some scrolls, which I'll probably never use because for some reason I have this weird adverse, like just never ever using scrolls. I don't know why. I just don't. Uh, right. Do we go and get the Sword of Justice during this playthrough? Probably should. Oh, we're level 3 now. Nice. Okay, here we go. So, channel divinity, lay on hands, more stuff. Divine health. The divine magic flowing through you makes you more. What makes you immune to disease? Oh, there we go. Control and debt. Dreadful aspect. As an action, you channel the darkest emotions and focus them on a burst of magical menace. Each enemy within 9 meters of you makes a wisdom saving throw, if it can see you. On a failed save, the target is frightened of you for 10 turns. If a creature frightened by this effect uh, ends its turn or more, more than 9 meters away from you, it can attempt another wisdom saving throw. Okay, cool. And then I get Hellish Rebuke. So my reaction coats uh, basically does 2 d10 flame damage. Cool. And I get Inflict Wounds. Oh, that is good. I love this spell. I really like Inflict Wounds. Uh, probably one of my favourite spells alongside Guiding Bolt. But yeah, that's cool. Right, let's move some stuff. So we're going to have these two there. Uh, that can also... I, I really need to... Yeah. Yeah, we'll go for that. I like to have all my smites sort of close together. So we're going to get... Oh, that, not that one. That one, that one, that one. Compelled Duel. And I get another spell choice. Uh, Do we go... I kind of want to go for that one, but at the same time I don't. Um, That is good, but it's a concentration spell and I don't like concentration spells. Uh, as I've said, I'm just not a fan. Um, I prefer to do something more impactful and meaningful in my round. I'll take it just in case, but yeah. I doubt we'll ever actually use it, in all honesty. Um, and then, oh, here we go. So, Astarian is now leveled up. We can choose from Arcane Trickster, Assassin, Inquisitive, Mastermind, Phantom, Scout, Soul Knife, Swashbuckler, or Thief. Soul Knife gets... 
Uh, Soul Knife strikes and infiltrates with the mind, cutting through barriers both physical and psychic. These rogues discover psionic powers within themselves. Yeah, so the Soul Knife is really powerful. You get psychic blades and then cyborgs to knack. Basically, you can then you use this to get bonuses on your dice rolls. It's actually really powerful. Uh, don't need to go for assassin because I already have the poisony stuff. So I, I've already got it. So I don't need it. The only reason why um, you would take assassin is probably because of assassin's attack and assassin's critical. So you always get, obviously, so you get advantage and always score critical on targets, on surprise enemies. And then, yeah, you get the, um, you, yeah, that was basically what I've just said. Uh, Phantom is not that good. I've tested Phantom because it, it sounded really cool, but it, it just wasn't, wasn't powerful at all. You basically can choose a proficiency. Um, that you get, you don't even get advantage on it, you just get the A proficiency, and that's it. And then, if you sneak attack, you can then deal, an, like, necrotic damage to another enemy. So it's just not that good. Uh, Mastermind, it's interesting. Um, we've already got help, so I don't see a point in it. Uh, and that's an action as well, not a bonus action. Scouts are sound pretty good. You get, you know, proficiency to survival in nature. Um, but yeah, starting from a third level, you're difficult to pin down. So yeah, basically you can move up to half your speed as a reaction when an enemy ends its turn within five feet of you. And it doesn't provoke opportunity attacks. It's interesting, to say the least. Um, I did say we're going to go for Arcane Trickster. And I get to choose from some cantrips booming blade green and then green flame blade uh what is it thunder damage is this the one that like it's attack and then it sort of pushes people away oh, i don't know I, don't, I really don't know what spell to go for shadow blade on the other hand i really do want to use this i don't i don't think arcane tricks is going to be that strong in all honesty I wonder what happens if I charm a vendor in this game. Has anyone actually ever done it? What happens if you... Huh. You know what, screw it. We'll go for charm person and we'll go for shadow blade. We, we, we will do this. Um, we'll go for green flame blade. And dancing lights is a good one to go for. And then spells wise, we have access to all of these spells... I think jump or featherfall actually. Fe featherfall is probably the better one to go for out of between that and jump. Mainly because it's, in my opinion, it's got better use, more versatility, and also if it's an AoE, so everyone on your team can benefit from that one spell. Plus, we've also got a caster here, so we do, like offensive caster. So we can just use a star in for bonusy stuff. Like buff buff spells. The good thing is we don't need to take mirror image because we've got Gale, who learns the fun house. Well he doesn't learn it, he's just he's just powerful. Because he's got his books of stuff. Right, so I'm gonna do the dialogue here, sell some gear, and then go back to I mean, we can go back to the church chapel ruined place. Uh, one. Well, okay, relax. My, oh God, Folblords. You see the tiefling's jaw clench. He's about to. We have worried about enough. At least we agree on that. Okay, cool. Just done that. Got the extra fifteen XP. Um, how long have we been recording for? It has been forty minutes. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna leave this episode here. I will in the next episode we will then do the death we'll do the death uh the going through the chapel uh we're now level three so we've got a lot more abilities to play with and some cool stuff to do so, yeah thanks guys for watching and as always if you like the video please uh, leave a like 
uh, please comment down below what you'd like to see next time that we're doing this. I definitely want to do an Oath of Ancients Paladin, which would be really cool. Um, and also let me know if there's any other mods that you've played and you want to try out. So yeah, without further ado guys, thank you so much again for watching. And uh, I hope to see you next time in the next episode. Bye!